People constantly refer to me as the mystery man. Magazines and blogs write about me and always call me the mysterious James Goldstein. I don't really think that I'm so mysterious. I like my actions to speak for themselves, but I think that people in general are afraid to be different. They feel more secure if they're like everybody else around them. I'm not that way. I don't have insecurity problems. I'm willing to take chances, and I feel good about that. I constantly strive to be somewhat unique and to do things in a way that go beyond what anyone else is doing. So the constant challenge that I create for myself could be construed as being limiting or binding, but I don't look at it that way. I welcome the challenge. Many people play it safe in many ways, including love. I don't play it safe. If something is very fulfilling, that's all I'm looking for. I'm not looking for happiness number one versus happiness number two. I don't rank happiness. With women, sometimes it's difficult to rank them also because uh, when it comes to women, there's an emotional attachment that goes with it so that it's not a rational ranking, so to speak, and it's something that just takes over and I follow my emotions. I'm not afraid of love at all. I welcome love. I've been in love with several different women over the course of my life. And uh, I always was one step ahead of everybody else, but I still put some limitations on myself. As the years went by, I lost my fear for going too extreme and realized that my life just keeps getting more and more exciting as I grow older. Certainly the recognition for what I'm doing has to give me some satisfaction, but it's not behind my motivation. And even though I don't have children to maybe directly pass on my legacy to, I am planning on donating my house to an important museum with the idea that what I've created with this house will be a positive influence on generations to come so that even without the family unit, I will be able to leave a strong legacy.